Hi, my name is Marie and I am the owner and creator here at Soft Talker Reusables where we make handmade reusable cloth menstrual pads. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how we manage to package our orders quickly, but while still taking care to make sure that they are packaged nicely, that you get a nice opening experience while when you get your order. We are a super tiny business. There are me and two others, and we are a handmade business. So we aren't just packaging your orders. We have to hand make everything to send it out first. So we need to be able to package orders quickly in order to get back to sewing. Now, that being said, we do take a lot of pride in our products and you, we want you to see that when you open your packages. So while we do have to do things quickly in order to make sure everything is still getting made, we do still try to make sure that they have those personal touches. Now, the biggest key to making sure we are able to package our orders quickly is prep. Prep, prep, prep. We prepare much, as much stuff as possible ahead of time so that when it comes to actually packaging those orders, we're able to do things smoothly and quickly with as little hiccups as possible. All of these prep tasks are things that we tend to just do during our downtime. So when we have like an odd break in time or we really need a break from doing some tedious tasks for a long time, we will change gears and do some packaging prep so that we are still being efficient with all of our other processes. So some of the things that we do is we first, all of our boxes and bags get like logo stamps and stuff like that. So one of those things we do is we pre-stamp all of the boxes. We will pre-fold and build all of our boxes or those, uh, as many boxes as we can. We um, wrap every order in tissue paper. So we will pre-fold and lay that tissue paper inside the boxes so they are entirely ready to just put pads in and package your orders. Do things like bulk print out all of our thank you stickers that we handwrite everybody's name onto. We send out in every order a little thank you um, card and inside of an envelope with a little free gift. We fill those up ahead of time and make sure they're again ready to go to just plop inside your order so that we don't have to be doing that while we are packaging your orders. Having as much stuff like that prepped ahead really makes the process go nice and quickly on a packaging day. Now I mentioned packaging day there. We don't package orders every single day and as much as we would love to say that we can offer same day shipping again it comes back to being this tiny business small group of people we need to get things done quickly and if we package every single day it starts to become really inefficient and that is because we're in a relatively small space we don't have the space to be able to have a dedicated packing station our packing station is also our um, fabric cutting station our workstation so we every time we package we need to clear off the table set up everything for packaging and then package so if we did that every single day it would start to become really inefficient so now what we do is we package um, one to two times a week we're going to be going up to pretty consistently doing it twice a week now and that just allows us to still make sure orders are getting out relatively quickly while being efficient on our end as well. Now it's a packing day what do we do how do we go about that? The first part of the process is printing out all of the packing slips. We print them kind of by location depending on where they go they are going some packages get um, packed up a little bit differently than others so we make sure they are all kind of sorted by that and sorted by courier type so that it, when it comes to printing out all the shipping labels everything is organized together with like type of packages. Once all of those packing slips are are printed we start to pull orders so we have these little plastic shoe boxes that we will fill with your orders so we take your packing slip put your stuff in the shoe box set it on the table go to the next one so we can pull a whole bunch of orders at once and now similar with how we do the packing slips where things are printed kind of by region and like packaging when we are pulling your orders we also try to stack them sort of by order size so that we know which size box or bag to grab it just makes things as efficient as possible when things are packed are stacked kind of with their like size or similar sizes once all of the plastic bins that we have are full, then we start packaging. And since everything was already prepped ahead of time, that packaging process usually goes pretty quickly. We just fill up all the boxes, uh, boxes and bags. We write your order number on the outside of it. Once everything is packaged, the next step is to just print out all the shipping labels. So I come to the computer, I enter all of the shipping details. And because we have everything kind of stacked by box size or by bag size, it makes that really efficient because I'm entering all of kind of the same information on every single order and I can bulk do it, which makes it a lot faster. Then we print out the shipping label stick them on your boxes and they some of the orders we need to deliver to the courier some um, get picked up it kind of just depends on the courier and where they're going so with this meta method we're able to package between 30 and 40 orders in an hour we average about 100 orders a week so that gives us you know three to four hours a week of packaging and that is really good for us and we are able to get back to sewing and creating more product as a small handmade business there are a lot of things that need to get done and not a lot of hands to do them packaging is the last part of that process we really want to make sure that things are done really nice Nicely, you get those personal touches but done so quickly so that we can get back to sewing and creating more product for you guys so yeah that's how we do it and thanks you thank you for watching if you have a small business i'd love to know how you package your orders so drop a comment let me know if you have any other tips and suggestions we're always open to that too because as i said we are still a tiny small business we are steadily growing and always open to new ideas and ways to improve what we're doing